here today to do a video about all of my unread books. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to show you the books but also because I would like for you to recommend which books I should get to sooner rather than later because I do have some personal preferences some titles that I really want to get to very soon but other than that I'm open for suggestions I counted the books last night and I think I made it to 63 so that's a decent number I, I will say that I'm not feeling too much of a pressure because of that number because I do like to have a lot of books waiting for me I do like that feeling but at the same time I don't want for that number to be any higher in the future so we will have to see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to show you each and every book right now and let's just get started. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Bleak House by Charles Dickens, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, and the last one of these beautiful classics is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. Hotel New Hampshire by John Irving, Wildflower Hill by Kimberly Freeman, Silver Shadows by Rachel Mead, The Colorless Tsuzuku Tasaki's Pilgrimage, something like that by Haruki Murakami, Dark Head by Morden Ramsland, I think that's how you would translate this, Clockwork Prince as well as Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, Purple Hibiscus by Shimamanda Noguchi Adishi. The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. That was a book falling over. Oh my god. His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. The Secrets of the Orchidae by Lucinda Riley. I think that's how you would translate this. The Stranger's Child by Alan Hollinghurst. The Progress of Love by Alice Munro. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Nifnegger. Next up, Rosen Street by Emma Hamburg. Dragonfly in Amber, as well as Voyager by Diana Gabaldon, The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin, Sputnik My Love by Haruki Murakami, Something Strange and Deadly, as well as A Darkness Strange and Lovely by Susan Dennett, Annabelle by Kathleen Winter, Looking for Alaska by John Green, a Half Forgotten Song by Catherine Webb, The Shell Seekers by Rosamund Pilcher, The Lives of Others by Neil Mukherjee, The Edge of Eternity by Ken Follett, Shalimar the Clown by Salman Rosti. Rosti. I never know what to say, Rosti or Rosti, let me know in the comments. Under the Dome by Stephen King, Never Let Me Go by Kazuro Ishiguro, Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, The Hours by Michael Cunningham, November 22nd, 1963 by Stephen King, The Stolen Road by Anne Catherine Rybnitsky, The History of Love by Nicole Krauss, The Summer Garden by Paulina Simons, Merceau contre Enquête by Camille Daoud, This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald, as well as Tender is the Night also by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, A Doctor's Leap by Stephen King, The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Diviners by Libba Bray, Between Red and Black as well as Not to Want to See by Jan Guyot, and the very last three books are Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky, and Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So that is all of my unread books as it looks right now and there's a lot of them but as I said please let me know in the comments if you have any preferences as to what I should read sooner rather than later. Thank you so much for watching, happy reading everyone and bye bye!